It was one of the 20th century's most intriguing mysteries. What really happened to the Romanovs? The last in a dynasty that ruled Russia for 304 years, Tsar Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, and their five children were taken prisoner during the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917. In the early morning hours of July 17, 1918, their captors reportedly executed the entire family near Yekaterinburg in central Russia. But no bodies were ever found, leading people to wonder if they might still be alive. Almost immediately, various people started stepping forward, claiming to be surviving members of the royal family. None were more famous or more convincing than Anna Anderson. After jumping off a Berlin bridge in 1920, the young woman was sent to a mental hospital, where she soon claimed to be the youngest Romanov daughter, Grand Duchess Anastasia. Believers in her cause argued that she was even recognized by Romanov family members, other European royals, and former courtiers. After more than a 30-year legal battle, a German court rejected Anderson's claim to the Romanov fortune in 1970. She died in 1984 in Virginia, and DNA testing done in the 90s proved without a doubt that she was unrelated to the Romanovs. But what about the real Anastasia and her family? In 1976, a team of Russian scientists finally found the remains of the Tsar and his wife, along with three of their daughters. They kept their discovery a secret until 1991, just before the fall of the Soviet Union. But the mystery continued, as the remains of 13-year-old Prince Alexei and one of his sisters were still missing. Finally, in 2007, investigators found a separate grave, the remains inside were identified as Alexei and his 19-year-old sister Maria. Did this discovery mark the end of the Romanov mystery? Not quite. DNA comparisons with living Romanov relatives confirmed the ID, but the Russian Orthodox Church remains unconvinced and is still deciding whether they can be buried with the rest of the Tsar's family in a St. Petersburg Cathedral.